Why don't more people use Linux? A couple of weeks ago, I saw a tweet asking, if Linux is so good, why aren't more people using it? So before we get too far in, so my understanding, this is what I, this is what I think, this is what I've, I've seen. Most people don't use Linux because one, if you're, say you're, you're in enterprise, you're managing many, many machines and you need to enforce policies across all those machines. There's nothing quite like Windows, unfortunately. Like I'm, I'm a big Linux guy. I love using Linux. I use Windows too for streaming and for work. So I, I'm in both worlds. So that's one reason why nobody uses Linux in the enterprise. Nobody. For non-servers. For servers, it's used everywhere. The other one, for desktops at home, most people don't know what it is. It's a marketing issue. Nobody knows what it is. And it has a tendency to be pretty complex in certain scenarios. It's just not... It wasn't built for normies to use. It, it's just not. I have, I have given my mom Linux on a netbook because Windows wouldn't run on it anymore. And it actually ended up okay. Like it was, it actually worked pretty well for her. And I think there are a class of people it can work well for, but Chrome OS would be a better answer that in that scenario. And then there's the developers and a lot of them just want to get their job done. They don't want to mess with the system, and that's why they go with Mac OS. So um, it's Unix based, but it's all all the decisions are already made. So that's my guess. So let's see what DHH has to say about it. Let's see where he goes with it. And it's a fair question. I intuitively it intuitively rings true until you give it a moment's consideration. Linux is even free, so what's stopping mass adoption? If it's actually better, my response. If exercising is so healthy, why don't more people do it? If reading is so educational, why don't more people do it? If junk food is so bad for you, why don't why do so many people eat it? Yeah, there's this too. It's like if open source is so great, why don't more people do it? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's because it's it's easy. The world is full of free invitations to self-improvement that are ignored by most people most of the time. Putting it crudely, it's easier to be fat and ignorant in a world of cheap, empty calories than it is to be fit and informed. It's hard to resist the temptation of minimal effort. Yeah, and if somebody goes to the store and buys a laptop and they want just a cheap laptop, they're either going to buy a Chromebook or they're gonna buy a Windows computer. And because they have Windows at work, they'll probably wanna use the thing they're most familiar with and buy one. It's ultimately why. If they want a laptop, they don't even know what Linux is. It's an extra step to install it. So, you know, like I, nobody's gonna take that, that path. And Linux isn't minimal effort. It's not minimal effort at all. Things break, things go wrong. It's uh. It's always an interesting environment to work in. It's probably the best for developers, but it's not the easiest. It's an operating system that demands more of you than does the commercial offerings from Microsoft and Apple. Thus, it serves as a dojo for understanding computers better. That's why it's good for developers. It gets you closer to the computer. It gets you more understanding in the realm of how computers work. With a sensei who keeps demanding you figure problems out on your own in order to learn and level up. Yep. Now I totally understand why most computer users aren't interested in an intellectual workout when all they want to do is browse the web or use an app. They're not looking to become a, be a black belt in computing fundamentals, but programmers are different or ought to be different. They're like firefighters. Fitness isn't the purpose of firefighting, but a prerequisite. You're a better firefighter when you have the stamina and strength to carry people out of a burning building on your shoulders than if you do not. So most firefighters work to be fit in order to serve that mission. That's why I'd love to see more developers take another look at Linux. Such, let's go open that. We might go look at that in a sec. Such that they may d develop better proficiency in the basic katas of the internet. Such that they aren't scared to connect a computer to the internet without the cover of a cloud. Besides, and that's, 
that's actually a big DHH thing. He, I know he's big on on running things on prem, and I think for actually for a lot of companies, if you're at a certain scale that is, I don't know, to say if if you're at an even scale, you know your rates and how much traffic you're going to get versus how much resources you're going to use. If you're at that scale, then you really should run on-prem in a co-location, I think. Once you get to a certain level, it is the thing that makes sense. And it takes some know-how to do. Like, you don't... It's not the same as cloud. There are some products you can use to get you close, like Proxmox or VMware or something. You can have a private cloud pretty easily that way. But that's a proficiency in and of itself. So... Besides, if you're able to figure out how to set up a modern build pipeline for JavaScript or even correctly configure IAM for AWS, yeah, that's way more complicated than just setting up a server. You already have all the stamina you need for the Linux journey. Think about giving it another try. Not because it's easy, but because it's worth it. I agree. I fully agree. This is short and sweet. I think that is probably about it. Yeah, I, I think one of the reasons that macOS really is so popular in the development community is because it's Unix, but it's Unix with all the the um, with all the decisions made for you. And for a lot of people, that's probably the way to go. So yeah, if you like this article, if you like the video, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. If you hated it, let me know what I can do better next time. Have a good one.